2016. It sounds so odd to say it, but we finally made it, huh? Goodbye 2015. It's quite a year. Anyhow, uh, let me just say a few things while I'm shuffling. I'm doing a new spread. I revamped uh, a sp spread that I had that I, that I do use often um, to give you as much as I can. I get asked often, and I really will try to see where I can swizzle something, but I, I really just don't think it's going to happen. So uh, people are asking um, in great magnitude whether I'm going to do weeklies like some of the other readers and uh, bi-weeklies. I just don't have the time. I wish I did, but unfortunately I just don't. Um, these videos take so long to upload and, and, and finish and all that uh, I, I really just, I, I don't unfortunately see where I'm going to be able to do that. But what I've done, because I always try to find a workaround for something, um, is I've revamped this to add a little bit more detail. Hopefully that gets you what the other uh, more, more videos would get you. So I'm going to try to give you as much as I can. Please let me know what you think. Let me know if it worked for you, what you like, what you don't like. I so appreciate your, your uh, comments. I'm all about uh, constructive criticism and what works and what doesn't work. I think that's how we grow, right? Um, so that's that. Please watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising. I listed it, I think, at the beginning of all the videos in case I forgot to mention it to you. Um, I think they're going to be crucial until at least, as far as I can see now, um, at least until April. Uh, so just if one doesn't resonate, please go check out the others, and uh, hopefully something is in there that can help you. Okay? I do apologize for these being literally right to the end, uh, the very beginning of, of January, but I, I just kept getting this month that it was just, every time I had it on my list to do for the day, I just kept getting a don't do it today. And I know better than to, to go against that. So I waited today. Um, oddly, I didn't have it on my list, but I really was out of days, so it was going to happen today or it wasn't going to happen. But I just felt that today was the day and I got the go-ahead, um, no resistance whatsoever. So I'm glad that I did. Um, I'm using my normal vintage deck, which I always use, um, but I got a new deck uh, over the holidays that uh, seems to be working wonderfully uh, with this. So I'm going to give it a go and see if we could get more clarity for you in my one reading a month. Okay, so um, here we go. Okay. All right, the overall energy is the King of Wands. We like him. He's about honor and leadership. This is someone who is an Aries, Leo, Leo or Sag. This could be you, um, your sun sign, moon sign, rising sign. Um, this is definitely a male though. Um, now is not the time to limit yourself. This again guys is the energy of this reading so it could just be literally that, just the energy of this reading. Um, and that's a good energy to have because, uh, you want, uh, I keep getting, just do it. Make sure you do it. Do it, do it, do it. Um, this is about a passion. This is passion, um, that literally lights you on fire. This is something that you would get up for in the morning, even if you were dead tired. You, you like it that much. Um. This energy, too, is that of a mentor. It's someone that uh, would guide you or help you. Um, so this is strong energy. You don't get to be a king by not uh, going through life like that. This is not young energy. So uh, you're getting the energy to go ahead and do this. You're getting the green light. Um, you're being given the vision, too, of where you want to go. You know what this is. Uh, you feel it. This is not an energy that you don't feel. Um, I keep getting again, just do it. Go, go, go. So um, write that down. Okay. The focal here is uh, the six of coins. And 
uh, this is about charity, but it's also about um, it's about um, this is like the threefold law. This is the um, it's it's uh, what you put out comes back to you threefold. That's applying to this card. It's about learning to manage your money. Um, this card is more, so much more about uh, financial balance and well-being than it is just about charity. Um, this card is about um, being able to. Uh, Someone is either giving you money to help you out um, so that at least you can uh, have your uh, essential needs met, food, clothing, shelter. There may have been a point here where uh, you made some bad investments or something. Either way, someone helped you out or you helped someone out. Either way, you're going to reap the rewards for this now. This card also speaks, though, too, of um, being generous. Make sure that uh, in being generous, you're not putting, you're not overlooking your own boundaries so that you end up not being able to provide for yourself. This is about, um, it's about money management in this read anyway. Um, You're either giving or receiving to someone or someone is helping you out financially. Um, this is also about uh, if you're in a relationship that uh, is to the point where it would be more beneficial to you to... Uh, combine your finances, combine your uh, residence, things like that. This card is telling you that now is the time to do that. That would be beneficial to you. Again, that's uh, as far as a relationship. Uh, when I say I didn't reference the love spectrum of this, but it's about even blended, uh, you know, blended families now coming under one roof because that's it's just financially better to do that right now um, you're in a position I should say to do that uh, as far as a relationship goes um, if you're single Put yourself out there, but know that uh, somebody that's that's somebody has an interest in you. If you're single, um, you don't need to 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 get on the dating sites. Just go out. There's somebody who's interested in you, um, and it's somebody that has already crossed your path at some point or another, um, but hadn't told you how they felt. If you uh, are not single, this brings your relationship up to another level, is where I was going with that. Sorry about that. I'm just getting something about uh, being able to provide for, I think at some point uh, there may have been uh, something happened financially that uh, brought you to a point where uh, you were having trouble even paying for your basic necessities. Someone helped you out or you helped someone out is how that goes. But either way, the focus is that uh, you now are being uh, given the opportunity through the, the good things that you've done for people. It's all going to come back to you now. So this, this is a passing phase and you've come out ahead of it. Okay.
It may have been a, a divorce, too, because there is, I keep getting a blending of families here. So, um, it may be, it may be something like that. Okay, we'll, we'll see. The near past is, um, the, uh, hermit. It's about taking a step back, taking a time out, introspection. You know, it's a new year. It, it's rightfully so that it would show up there. I like that card anyway. It just shows that you're thinking about where you are. You're not leaping into things that uh, could cause you this. And I tend to think that that um, may be in lieu, you know, they may have something to do with that. Something financially may have gone awry um, that caused you to just take a step back. The present circumstance is... Uh, the Three of uh, Swords. It's about um, making better choices. Um, I think that this surrounds... Uh, you've learned from your mistakes, is what I'm going to say on this. I don't think... Uh, I, don't, I don't think someone did you wrong. I don't think this is a heartbreak in regard to... Um, a person, I think maybe you've made bad choices in the past, but now you realize that you're making wiser choices. That's what I think this is about, honestly. Um, in the near future, you've got the moon card. Again, this is a card of not uh, everything not being clear. You may be just trying to find your way here with this newness, um, with the new finances and stuff, and taking the step back. Uh, and that energy... Um, of the King of Wands may be um, showing you the route to, to really just do the things that you're passionate about and the money is there. Maybe before you didn't go in that direction. The obstacle here is uh, the Ace of Wands. I'm sorry, the Ace of um, the Ace of Wands. I'm sorry, that's the universe giving you the thumbs up. I keep getting the go 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 from this card, and this card basically is the universe telling you that. So I do have the direct connect right now and, you know, go for the things that you want right now. Um, something that uh, you're passionate about. It's also a good card for relationships, but I think this is more just about life structure. I think that this is about you making better choices for yourself um, to align yourself, to open up, to be able to do more for yourself. Um, the blessing card here is, um, the page of wands. He's sitting in the, the blessing position. Um, okay. I keep getting the go, 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 because this opportunity here, this, whatever is coming to you is going to be, um, Something brand new is coming your way. Like, I don't even think it's on your radar yet. Um, whatever it is brings you uh, more excitement than you thought it would. Uh, it, it, it's, it's followed by, how do I say, um, this is followed by that excitement of a child. Um, th there, there's that kind of excitement that comes with this. So, uh, this is the Page of Wands, and the energy is the King of Wands. Uh, if anyone's going to make it happen, it's going to be this, this, uh, this suit. Um, yeah, there's an extra enthusiasm involved in this here. This may be a love relationship coming in too. Um, I think I think what's happening here is once you get yourself aligned, you may be in a position where you were so financially strapped that you couldn't enjoy the good things in life. And I think what's happening is that door 
is now the threefold that's coming back to you is opening the universe in many different directions for you. I think you're just so shocked that you're uh, afraid to move here. But don't be, please, because this is also bringing in a new relationship that is also going to be like, it's going to be like, uh, like you never knew what love was before. It's going to be that kind of uh, newness. Like you've been in relationships before, you would love people before, but never like this. And the outcome card is the Ten of Coins. This is, um, this is that happiness that's been a long time coming. It's just, uh, it, it's what you've been, it's, it's just a work in progress. It's your life coming to culmination, basically. It's not a handout. It's not something new. This has been aligning in, you know, uh, in, in the universe and in karmic uh, lifetimes for you. This is that, that kind of love. Um, this is the love in a relationship that uh, sustains. This is, um, it could be retirement but I don't think it is for this, but it could be, it could absolutely be. Um, maybe it's do I, either way, it's bringing you abundance on all fronts in forms that you never knew were possible. So um, this is a lasting love. This is the happiness uh, that you've wanted for a very long time. Only now it's coming, but it's coming in such a way that this is a good example, guys. Uh, that the universe is rigging our favor. We want things that we think are going to make us happy, but then the universe hands us something that mu it blows our mind because it, it's something we can't think about. We can't use the brain to think about it. It's just something outside of that realm. That's what this kind of happiness is. Um, I'm so happy that I'm getting these reads. Uh, last year was not wonderful, but this one, this is wonderful. Okay, Cancers, we're going to get some clarity on this stuff. Okay. And the reason I really slowed down on the Six of Coins there, that vocal card, is because something went on in the realm of finance, which uh, really took you to your knees. Um, or something pulled you, something really just... Uh, got you good um, but it was worth it because your payoff here is off it, it's just uh, it's huge okay there were endings in the past but now everything is is uh, what's old is new again your vigor is coming back There is a woman here in this, um, it could be you, uh, I'm going to say brown, brown features, brown hair, brown eyes, something, brown hair, brown eyes, just take me on that. Um, the choices that you're making now are good ones. You're going to find victory here, but I just told you that, so, uh, don't doubt yourself, please. You deserve this. There is um, there's a stranger coming in here. Let me see what he's... I think he's related to this. Someone may ask you for advice on something. Uh... how to do something, and that relationship may come from that person, the new relationship, maybe someone um, that you don't know. Okay, underneath the moon card, which is in the near future, you've got the judgment card. You step into this. Um, be patient with yourself. Uh, you learned your lessons. That's what uh, also come out of the, the, the Six of Cups. I'm sorry, the Six of Coins. It's one thing to get yourself out of a situation. It's another to learn the lesson from it so that your life propels forward. That's what you've done. This is, this is what you've done. 
You've got true talent here. Stay away from namesayers. Stay out of the gossip. Uh, don't even pay any mind. It'll pull you right off your track here. New beginnings here. And that sits right under the Six of Coins. You learned your lessons, and they were not easy. Um, I'll tell you that. I can feel that these lessons were not easy. You've got good fortune coming to you. Have faith. And abundance is coming here, too. You're going to meet some peaks and valleys here. Um, it, it's okay. It's, I mean, it's, it's all in the course of this, but it gets you to where you're going. The good thing about having this card in the outcome, too, means because it's really not a card of, uh, it's hard to read because it's not a card of the now. It's usually a card of the future because what you've done in your life builds up to that card. But the future position doesn't need to be 10 years down the road. It's, a, it's, in, this, um, it's in my reading, so it's here. It's, it's happening. It's unfolding in the near future if it's not already. This is a, it is a relationship here, and it's one that is a, it's one that you that, that's going to be you're going to like it. It's going to be good for you. There is definitely an attraction there. So even if this is someone that you don't know, someone brand new, there is an attraction there. So that's going to be your indication that this is the person. S -s pay attention, too, because your intuition is going to tell you things about that. Listen to yourself. That's going to be uh, maybe another test from the universe of this. You know, you did learn your lessons, you're, you're doing well now, but do they still trust themselves? That's where these, uh, realize that those are intuitions, not yourself running, you know, our minds uh, on the wheel up there. It's your intuition saying, you know, be, be present in this. And it's about forgiveness, too. Forgive yourself for past mistakes. Just forgive yourself and go on. That's how we learn. You know, mistake is a mistake, period. We don't need to beat ourselves up. Okay, guys. That is your reading. I hope it helped you in some way. I'm thrilled about it. Um, I think it's wonderful. All of uh, last year is paying off, and I think that to get the readings that we're getting now, we would do that all over again because these are huge, and I could not be happier. Okay? Thank you, Cancer. I hope this helped you in some way. Please leave your comments and let me know what you thought. I would greatly appreciate that. If you'd like something more personal, please reach out to me. Reach out to my website. I'd be more than happy to look at whatever uh, you need. Okay, thank you so much, and have a wonderful January.